A storm system that battered Northern California is hitting San Diego. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. And I'm Carrie Lane. A warning to use caution if you're out driving. The storm is responsible for at least two deaths. It weakened by the time it did reach our county, but is still causing a mess on our freeways. Tonight, News 8 Steve Price has the latest on the conditions here. I know it was a little crazy out there earlier. Yeah, and Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis has a first look at your microclimate forecast. We're going to start out in that rain with Steve. Yeah, Carlo and Kerry, the rain really started coming down in our county around 445 and looking at the CHP's reports, that's when the trouble started on our roads. Multiple traffic accidents, reports of spin outs. We also have flooding on some freeways. Definitely a mess out there. But I'll tell you, as bad as we're getting it here across the state, they are getting it much worse. The rain finally made its way into San Diego Monday afternoon just in time to wreak havoc on the afternoon commute and with it strong wind gusts and high surf. Sets up to 10 feet today and lifeguards are predicting waves as high as 15 feet tomorrow. They are also warning of dangerous rip currents, conditions that are definitely for very experienced surfers only. But Mother Nature's powerful punch isn't hitting us nearly as hard as the northern part of our state. In the Bay Area, winds so strong they almost pushed over a truck crossing a bridge. And on the Golden Gate Bridge, gale force winds caused vibrations, creating this eerie sound that was heard miles away. Forecasters call it a bomb cyclone, which means the barometric pressure drops suddenly, causing a storm that rapidly intensifies. And this storm is hitting California hard, uprooting trees, turning creeks into mud-filled rivers, and causing landslides that shut down major highways. These conditions are rough, especially uh, for driving. First snow of the first big snow of the season. That's right, snow, heavy snow, shutting down Interstate 80 over Donner Pass. In making a bad situation worse, areas burned bare by recent fires. They can't handle this much rain, leading to fears of dangerous mudslides. In Santa Barbara, residents in some burn areas were told to leave, and for those who stayed, now it's too late. That's why they're telling folks now to shelter in place if they haven't got out yet, because it's going to be too dangerous to try and get through any of the roadways if, if they wind up mudding over. So to give you an idea of just how much rain they're getting up in Northern California, Sacramento, they got over five inches of rain in 24 hours. They haven't had that much rain in that time period in over a hundred years. That's the kind of storm we're having. All right, the big question, how much rain are we going to get in? Man, what about this wind as well, Carlene? I'm going to send it back to you. It, the rain isn't really bothering me. It's yeah. the wind that's just pelting me. <laughs> oh, poor Steve. Man, I, I keep looking at you out there. I'm like, buddy, you got to come uh, in. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, Steve is mentioning it. It's the wind. It's the rain. It's a lot that's going on, and we do have some slick roads out there and also the high winds to talk about for tonight. So we are taking a look at the radar, and you can see that swath of moisture extending all the way from Palomar Mountain out to the Pacific. We are seeing heavier rainfall for downtown, also seeing some lighter shower activity near Escondido, but that's going to be the case as we go through the next few hours, still holding on to those rain chances. Now, we will have that swath continue to move to towards uh, basically the southern portions of our county and it's going to exit out from the northwest towards the southeast by 7 p.m. You're still dealing with a lot of shower activity, heavier pockets of rainfall near Santee, the same for Ramona and right along the border that will continue with our chances all the way into about 830. But you're starting to see a drying trend across North County. Most of the activity East County and also southern portions of our county, but then everything clears out as we go into later on tonight.